What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another FC24 video. It is 6pm, it is Tuesday and we're going to see what EA have given us today. Maybe some XP would be nice, wouldn't it? Maybe a new like hero upgrade pack because people love a Betty Pele in the game a lot. Um, let's see what we've got. We have got nothing in FC Pro Live. Of course, if you guys are enjoying the content and you want to drop a thumbs up on the video, it would be much appreciated. If you are new here, feel free to subscribe. Push us towards that 2 million coin. Coin? No. Sub mark. There's no nothing in objectives. And so, unless there's an evolution on a Tuesday, which would be unusual, there's, not, there's nothing in evolutions, which means... SBC Central, baby. Let's go. Come on. What have we got? What have we got? We have got nothing. Luis Openda, 95. Four-star skill moves, five-star weak foot, striker center forward, maxed out pace, insane physicals, insane dribbling, good passing. Not the best. Not the best passing. Decent shooting. Honestly, straight away for me, it's got to be a marksman, right? Get that physical right up. Get that dribbling up. Get that long shots up and the shooting up in general. He'll be a demon. His play styles, incisive plus, press proven plus, quick step plus, traveller plus, aerial, rapid, technical, ticky tackle, which is really nice, and then finesse shot, chip shot, and power shot. The thing, like, Travella's okay. Travella's okay for a shooting play style. Like, even though it's in physical, it's okay for a shooting play style. But truth be told, any player in the game right now, up front, that doesn't have finesse shot plus or power shot plus, I just personally can't take seriously. Um... That I, I just feel like those two things are so necessary against these high-end, insane defenders. Let's check his price. Two squads only. It's not bad. An 85 of the team of the week or a team of the season and an 87. Listen, it'll be so easy to complete. If you want to be able to afford the best players and open the best packs in FC24, go to u7buy.com to buy your EAFC24 coins. It's cheaper than buying FC points and just as reliable. They already offer some of the best prices out there, but you can get an extra 6% off using promo code NEP at checkout. And so with that, guys, Openda will definitely be worth doing. There is no other content here today in players. In upgrades... Oh, we got a 94 plus. Does that make your mark? What was that? Oh, I saw 94 plus and then I clicked into the, the daily upgrade. What do we have here? 94 plus. Make your mark. Path to glory. Team of the tournament. Greats of the game. Heroes slash footies. Team one and team two player pick. Oof. Oh, wait. That's infinitely repeatable. For an 89 and an 88 rated squad. Wait. I was joking about the heroes thing, EA. I wasn't... Like, people hate heroes. Nobody enjoys heroes. I was... I was... I was... I was kidding. We'll put in some heroes for the 89 rated squad. Because undoubtedly I'll, I'll get them back. Yeah, th this is a bit expensive. It's, it's going to be like... You know, is the the determina the determination is going to be what kind of cards are getting popped. It's not repeatable. Wait, did I not just say it? it's once only? Why did I think it was repeatable? Probably because it wasn't repeatable, and I'm so used to SBCs being repeatable these days that when an SBC is not repeatable, I just presume that it's infinitely repeatable when it's not. Anyway, it's only doable one time, apparently. So we're only going to do it one time, probably gratefully. Let's get this second squad in. This this requires a team of the week or a team of the season and an 88-rated squad. Even, even the team of the week slash team of the season requirement isn't that bad anymore. Like, before last week when we got team of the seasons back into packs, oh, the amount of time I spent... Grinding the team of the week upgrades just to get informs for SBCs. And now I just pack so many team of the seasons. Um but again, they they're not even a consideration anymore. Like it, it just doesn't make any it, it doesn't matter. Like I will always have now a handful or so of uh, you know, team of the season cards in the club that we can use. And if you're opening packs as regularly as I am, which you should be to be fair, because they're so easy to get hold of, um, then you should probably have a load of team of the seasons as well in your club. Let's open this 94 Path to Glory. Make your mark. Team of the tournament. Greats of the game. Heroes. 
or footies team one and team two player pick is a 94 plus it's not bad as a 94 plus but what are we going to get what are we going to see come on hook me up ea yeah that's terrible that's terrible. We'll take Christian Eriksen because he's the highest rated for me personally. It's a one of four though, isn't it? So that's all right. What else have we got? 81 plus player pick, which isn't actually that bad. The 84 by 10 is still there. The upgrades are nothing. Challenges are nothing. There is no new icon today either. And of course, no new exchange. So what do we have in store? Yeah, that was, that was a bit... Uh, yeah, a lot of people said they got a Founders Evo again, but there, there was no Founders Evo there. I'll, I'll go back in a second. Let me just rip an, an 84 by 10. I think I might have an 83 by 20 as well, actually. Yeah, let, let's hit an 83 by 20. Oh, wait, what? Oh, and there it is. The Founders Evo. I was going to say, like, I didn't see it when I looked in the Evo section, but there it was once we opened the pack, or at least tried to open the pack. Still going to open this pack, and then we'll go and see the Founders Evo. It's an interesting one to give. Here's the team of the season for us. England, left back, go on, B. Charles. Oh, it's an icon. It's actually Cole. Oh, wait, is that footy's actually Cole? Nope. Not. Oh, never mind. Who is the other one? And this is what I mean about fodder being so easy to come by. This 83 by 20 came from just playing the game. Um, you know, playing champs and champs qualifiers. And then we get Martin Prieto, Cadiz Nuts, Cole Marmouche, Chan, and Cobell. It's just delightful. Founders upgrade. Congratulations. With your founder status, you've unlocked an exclusive founders evolution. Use it to level up a player of your choice that meets the requirements. All right, let's have a look. Let, I have a feeling this is going to be the day one founders evo. <laughs> I have a feeling it's going to be garbage. Oh, it's not. Wait, does the rarity have to be? No. You're kidding me. You need a founder's... No, EA, this is so dumb. I evoed my... I put Kai Havertz into the initial founder's evo, right? I evoed him probably about six more times. Like, how Like how could you... Wait, didn't the first Founders Evo even give um, a Playstyle Plus? But what does it... Hold on, what does this give? This gives three pace, three shooting, three passing, three dribbling, three defending, three physical, rapid plus, power shot plus, six pace and six shooting. So that's already nine pace, because obviously Colin Mwani, like, capped out. So it gives nine pace, power shot rapid... King pass, technical plus, six passing, six physical, six... So it gives nine pace, ten shooting, eleven passing, nine dribbling, ten defending, and nine physical. But, but like, does anybody have a Founders Evo card available? If you've still got your day one founders card, I mean, listen, fair enough. Do me a favor. If you've got an, a card right now, send me an image of what it looks like when it's been evoed up, please. Oh, look, I feel like some people already have. So this guy's got Leon Bailey. Oh, my. See, the thing is, that card's pretty dead, to be fair. That card's pretty dead. I mean, you're probably happy with it. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, I'll be doing share plays, guys. I'll be doing share plays. Timo Werner, 95. 99 pace. See, I don't mind the play style pluses, to be fair. I just wish they would have given a few little upgrades across, like throughout the year. Do you know what I mean? Rather than like doing it all at once at the beginning and then all at the end. You've got Lucia Garcia. Thinking card, to be fair. Poor physicals, terrible defending, okay dribbling, awful passing, good shooting, great pace. Thinking card, can't lie. But to be fair, so is the other one. And then this is Werner's in games. Even that, it's a, bit, it's a bit of a stinky card, isn't it? Given the fact that he's got an, a, t 
an, an SBC. It's just, it's just a very, very, very weird decision from EA to give this card now, but also to make it only eligible for founders cards. What they should have done that I think would have, uh, I, I think would have made people a lot happier is if they gave the traditional founders Evo. That card's bad as well. If they gave the traditional founders Evo and this founders Evo, so you could almost like go back to the start. Do you know what I mean? And and be like, oh yeah, let me get my Kai Havertz again. Yeah, send send your picture through, Slim Brady. Let me get my Kai Havertz again. Get him in the founders, then put him in this. Then all of a sudden, I've got a guy that I've had at the start, right? Now that Dan Juma's half decent. Bit bit poor on the physicals, but otherwise really really good. Burn is Leipzig though, which kind of sucks. Yeah, we. I mean, we're not going to look at them all day, guys. I do appreciate you sending them through. It was nice to get a little look at some of those for sure. Um, let's have a look. The two new SBCs. We've got the 94 Path to Glory. Cool. We've got this Luis Openda. As I said, for me personally, guys, this is well worth doing anyway. But I think a Marksman has to be the one, right? Yeah, see, Marksman gives him 99 reactions, ball control, and dribbling. 99 finishing, 97 shot power, 99 strength, 93 long shots, and 92 penalties. It's a nice upgrade. Um, you could go for a Maestro to get that short passing and vision upgraded, to get the volleys upgraded a little bit. But I don't think it's too uh, too pressing. And uh, I don't think a finisher is necessary, really. Finisher does really well in the shooting department, again, and in the dribbling department. But for me, it would be a marksman. I, I do think, like... If this card, obviously he's only 4-5 as well, and we're at that stage of the game where 5-5 five, five is probably quite necessary. Um, but if this card had Power Shot Plus or Finesse Shot Plus, I actually think it would be the sort of card that might squeeze into people's teams because he'd have all of the properties that make him an insane player. But because he's got Traveller Plus instead, I yeah, it's an all right card. It's cool. It's calm. It's nice. I don't really care too much about it personally. And then the ultimate founders evolution, eligible players, none. There's no eligible players. And that's how you know EA. EA, just do the right thing. Do the right thing. We're not even going to get mad because we're going to give you a day to like rectify this because it's ludicrous that you would assume that people have held on to a card for nine months to get an upgrade on it. So do the right thing. Give all of these people that you gave this evolution to today the Founders Evolution base thing to convert a card to a Founders card to then put into this. With that being said, thank you guys for watching today. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to leave a like rating, comment, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And for now, guys, I'm out. Peace.